My feet kicked. I thrashed my arms. The wind pushed up against me as if trying to push me back up. Was that me telling like that? I was falling too fast to hear my own scream. It was going to eat me, I realized. I realize. You made a serious mistake, young man. Did you think you could fly? You are not ready to fly. Yet. I... 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 I was so sick and too hard to speak. When I turn you into a vampire, you can fly every night. Don't try to escape again. It is a waste of time. And the next time, I won't catch you. Don't just stand there. Come help me find the vampire breath. I know it's somewhere in this wing of the castle. I'm so thirsty. So thirsty. I must remember where I hid my fangs. Hurry, help me find the vampire bus. It's somewhere nearby. I'm certain of it. Uh, uh, perhaps I hid the bottle in the royal guest room. Are you okay? You still look kind of shaky. I am kind of shaky. After all, I fell off a cliff. It isn't going to be easy to escape. We can't escape. The castle was built up here on top of the cliff to keep anyone from escaping. We can't give up, Freddy. We have to keep trying. As soon as he finds his fangs, he's going to turn us into vampires. That's why my first plan is the best. We have to find the bottle of vampire breath before he does. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll find it first. But what do we do? What? But what will we do with it once we have it? Mainly keep it from him. We ran into a room full of coffins. Full of open coffins. Another vampire bedroom. It's so creepy, Freddy. Look how many there are. The vampires are all out somewhere, sleeping around, searching for blood to drink, but soon they'll be flying home. And when they see us, we'll, we'll be there to desert. Uh, maybe we should search for the vampire beds in another room, somewhere away from these coffins. But then my eye found something, a coffin against the wall a closed coffin. Kara, look at that! All the other coffins were left open. That's the only one with a closed lid. Do you think... Weird. Very weird. <gasps> Maybe it's an empty coffin. Maybe no one sleeps in that coffin. That would make it the perfect place. The perfect place to hide a bottle of vampire breath. Or maybe a vampire is sleeping in the coffin. If we open the coffin and wake him up, we have to look inside. We have to take that chance. Then, without saying a word, Kira grabbed one handle, and I grabbed the other. And slowly, slowly, we began to lift the coffin lid. <laughs> 